Hi Cancers, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. The first five cards once again deal with your love, romance, and relationship sector and the other five cards deal more with mundane energies, other areas of your life, as well as your spiritual advice. So let's look at this and um, this is a perfect reflection of you. Um, this is the first card out of the spread and it usually indicates what you're bringing to the table. Um, I like this knight because, you know, he's a, a little bit more on the shy end, okay? So this is the energy that you're bringing. Um, you're stepping up. You're making a major, major emotional leap of faith. You're moving forward because you are, um, like, emotionally pulled towards another person. You're making your love known. You're giving a lot of your love and your support towards another person. And you're making your intentions known. There's a lot of, you know, the, the horse is about to cross over that river. And um, it's, it can feel very scary. It can feel daunting. But you're taking the first step in the right direction because you're being divinely guided by your emotions and your heart. And you have a very, very um, hopeful, idealistic, but also very hopeful um, air about you that everything is going to work out, that everything is going to be okay. Okay. And so the person that you're moving towards, we have here the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is showing up in the reverse position. So this can be a very non-traditional type of a relationship. With the Hierophant in the reverse, I also often associate it with like um, um, relationships that a lot of people might not approve of, okay? Like um, for some people, even like same-sex relationships or like uh, friends with benefits or like um, open relationships or relationships that where the other person is very different from you. The other person might not want the same things as you. The other person in their ideals about relationship might be very different from you. But I'm also getting a very strong religious difference, okay? So like culturally, religiously, you might be very different from them. I'm also getting like, um, this is weird, but like state loyalty is so like citizenship as well. Um, they might be from a different background. They might be from a different country. So I do see water being the 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 big. Um, it, it's like the barrier between the two of you. So they might be in a different continent. They might be far away. So either way, you're reaching out, knowing that this might not be, you know, the the relationship that I have in mind. But it is something that really pulls me. That really draws me. There's something about this person that makes me want to make an offer, okay? Um, the person that you're dealing with as well, I feel like they might be getting ready to travel. They have a lot on their plate. They're working a lot of overtime. They are, I, I feel like, bogged down with a lot of responsibilities. They could potentially be moving. They could potentially be traveling. They might have a lot of, um, you know, it's like doing things the hard way rather than the smart way. So you might be dealing with someone who is, as well, the Hierophant, very, 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 very stubborn, very independent as well. And they want things their way. And so this is a week where, you know, you are going to be made aware of all of these traits about this person. You might as well uh, find out that they're thinking about a big move. They're picking up the pieces of their lives and trying to move on. And I feel like because of it, it's, it's lighting this fire from under you. Like, oh no, they're leaving. Um, I need to do something. And so it might be the catalyst that allows you to finally step up and make this gesture. On top of that, if you are dealing with an earth sign, okay, so I have Taurus here with this card. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in particular. This is somebody that financially they're kind of um, in the red. And <clears throat> I feel like they're not able to give 100% of themselves to you until they're like this, okay? Some of you could be in a same-sex relationship 
where this is a person that, you know, they want to give you the world. They're very reliable, very stable, generally uh, quite generous with their love and their affection and their resources. But for whatever reason, this is the week where they're not operating at their best. And so they, they have trouble giving you 100% until they are a lot more stable in their own lives. And so you might feel like you're being neglected this week from your relationship partner because they have a lot of things that they need to take care of. For many of you, you're stepping up. You're stepping up. You're helping a partner. You're seeing their, their struggles and you're seeing all the things that they're doing. And you're going to take control of this situation and you're going to, you know, help them, steer them in the right direction. I see you as being the person to give a lot of advice and a lot of insights to your partner. I see you giving a lot of emotional support from behind the scenes as well. So there is a reversal when it comes to roles and expectations. So for example, if your partner has been really headstrong and, you know, independent, this might be the week where you step up and you help them okay and, and you let them relax and then let them kind of um, chill out while you do the things from behind the scenes or while you kind of steer them in the right direction so i see you taking control of a situation i see you stepping up i see you as well it's not an easy process there's a lot of responsibilities but you're doing it because you love the other person and you're doing it because for whatever reason they're not capable of doing it themselves for this week. So lots of beautiful energy. I love it when I see like, you know, one person under the weather and then the party, the other party steps up. It shows a lot of, um, it shows a lot of self-awareness and it also shows a lot of awareness in general, knowing when we need to, you know, step up, knowing when we need to back down. So this is like, you're intuitively sensing that you need to do something different. And you're intuitively sensing that, wow, the other person's really struggling. I need to, you know, do my fair share. I need to help out. I need to, um, I'm feeling for many of you, you know, um, you guys are very loving and you guys are just really kind. And um, on a heart, emotional level, you're very, um, you're very intuitive and you're also very, very, um, what is that word? Like thoughtful of other people. And so you give of yourself when you feel that the other person needs help. But a lot of the times what you feel they need or what you are offering might not be entirely what they need. So this is the week where I feel like your intuition is a lot more sharpened, where you might give your emotional support. I feel like you're physically helping them do something that you might not have done before or you might have not have thought they needed. So it's a deepening in the understanding of what the other person needs and how can I not just, you know, be the cheerleader behind the scene, but get my hand or my hands dirty and help you. So I feel that energy coming through where you are stepping up your game. Um, so it's really good. Um, for people who are dating, I feel like, you know, the, the options that are available for this week, uh, be patient with it, play around with it. I don't see anything too stable because the Hierophant is not a relationship. The King of Pentacles is not a Mr. or Mrs. Right. So I feel like, you know, somebody you're dealing with has recently, I, I feel like, you know, you can um, meet somebody, right? And then you're going on a first date. And you're just like really, really excited, like wanting to make an offer. And then within five minutes of, you know, sitting down and dining, you find out that they have children that they would never talked about in the past. Or you find out that they've been married uh, and divorced twice. And so get to know their story before you get your hopes up. So the, 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 for singles, the energy for this week is not really conducive towards, um, uh, you know, relationships. I feel as well, um, if you're crushing on somebody, they're getting ready to make a move and it's lighting a fire from under you to want to make an offer to, um, initiate contact because you don't want them to leave. Okay. Like you're, you want to kind of like stand in their way or you want to, it's almost like, what have I got to lose? 
I need to tell them how I feel. So that's going to be coming. And I, you know, it's, it's never easy for us to reveal our emotions to another person. But I honestly feel like the message is you've got nothing to lose. Make that offer, make that gesture. Other areas of your life, I feel like there's a new job or a business proposal coming through. We have here the Ace of Pentacles. So this is like a, a very financially lucrative assignment, job, idea that can generate a lot of money. And I feel like it's linked up here with somebody who is giving you these ideas. An air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And um, they're painting this very, very amazing picture for you. And the fact that they're an air sign basically means that you can trust them. They've already worked out the logistics. They've already ruminated over this for many, many months, for many, many years even. They're just trying to find the right person. And they see you as, you know, having the potential to be their business partner even so that you can get this thing off the ground. I'm hearing somebody say, I'm only one person. I can't do it all on my own. Do you want to be on board? So I feel like they have already screened you and they have already thought long and hard about making this offer towards you. Um, for others of you, I feel like, you know, this is like getting a job offer. And then the other person's all like, wait a minute, let me check your references. Okay. So this is kind of like the, the HR, the human resources person. And they're like, whoa, we, we've got this offer for you, but there are some conditions. Let me check your references. Um, going on an interview, being interviewed by a person that really, really likes you and they feel like you're a perfect fit for the job, but there's some something about them kind of like checking your background, checking your references, um, asking you a lot more probing questions, and they're doing it in such a stoic, um, poker face type of a way, so you might not know how you how they feel about you. We have as well the Chariot and the Knight of Wands. This is a lot of travel, a lot of movement, and as well, a lot of like, um, you know, like shifting from one hotel room to the next. So like uh, going to seminars, attending talks, um, being called for consultation, as well as going on job interviews. So for those of you who are doing that, you're going to be made some major offers. And I also feel like this is a card about, you know, winning achievements, getting the grand prize. So you're going to be very well received. They see you as somebody who's not afraid to get your hands dirty. And they also see you as somebody who's the right fit for the job. Okay. So you're going to win over other people. I see a lot of uh, traveling, a lot of movement. Um, I also feel somebody's coming to see you. Um, I just did Leo's. So if you are in any way connected with a Leo or even another fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, um, this is longing for somebody, missing somebody, and you've got them coming unexpectedly to see you. So this is a wonderful, beautiful energy. Um, you've got some good things coming in for you guys, especially on the career friendship uh, arena. And then for others of you, I feel like, you know, major stepping up here. Um, helping a partner, uh, doing something for a partner because for whatever reason they're not able to. So really, really good things, a lot of emotional maturation and I feel like, yes, it's a very, 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 very busy week. You're darting all over the place. You're all over the map. But I feel like you're doing things because you love other people. So you're willing to travel. You're willing to go here and go there and, and run errands and pick up, you know, the dry cleaning and doing laundry and, and, you know, just like the mundane activities that we need to do to sustain ourselves. So there's a lot of busyness. Okay. Don't run yourself ragged. Okay. Um, take care of yourself. All right, cancers and take it easy. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.